Hi, this is Josh with Programmable Audio. I'm here today. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Rewire in Reaper. Now, if you're not familiar, Rewire is an application that allows you to tie two or more audio applications together, so like Rewire and another DAW or, or something else to that effect. Now, as a beginner, as a novice, you may not find that this is of any benefit and it's way more complicated than you really need. However, it really does help you solve some very particular issues. The one in particular I've been having, I'm trying to take some samples, I'm trying to pitch them in real time by playing my keyboard. Uh, Reaper seems to have some time stretching and some pitching capability, but not in the real time fashion that I'm looking for. So I did a lot of research and it looks like my two best options are Contact or Ableton Live. Now I own a copy of Ableton Live, I don't own a copy of Contact. That's why I'm going to use Rewire to bring Ableton in so I can use its sampler to pitch and, and make those changes. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do here is in Reaper is have a new project. Um, I always start by adding it as a virtual instrument, I don't know if that's necessary or not. But we come in here to your rewire. This will show all of the available rewire applications that you have. I only have Reaper and Ableton installed. That makes it really easy for me to choose. I'm going to install this. Asks you if you want to route it. Um, I always say yes. Uh, that allows you to bring all of the audio back into a new channel from Ableton or your other rewire slave. However, you can change that. Uh, as you can see, when this comes up, you can see MIDI send and audio from. So right now, master keyboard, we can send MIDI on all these channels. Audio right now, uh, rewire output, which was Ableton. Left and right come to uh, Reaper 1 and 2, and that's on this mix channel here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to reopen our rewire application. That's uh, opening on my other screen here. Bear with me, there we go. So now that that's open, um, I'm only going to use a couple here. I'm going to pick a couple of quick samples. We're going to say, all right, fine. So we're going to drop that into a track here. You can see that's 1A, Picasso 808. We're going to choose a quick snare. Don't really care which one. This is all for demonstration purposes. Now this is, you know, track two in Ableton on your, um, rewire a slave. So when you come back in here, look at your MIDI send, you can see that bus channel 1 and bus channel 1, channel 2, sending to the two tracks in Ableton. I'm going to move this out of the way for now. So what you can do then is this guy here, this Ableton Live, I like to rename him and say Ableton Master. Um, I, they, you could come up with a better name for it. I, I call it that because it is the interface track. It allows you to send MIDI to Ableton and receive audio back. So on this one, if we were to go ahead and put in a MIDI item, you can see immediately I'm getting some 808 there. Um, you can change the channel here, channel 2. Now we're playing some snare. However, the problem I find here is that this channel down here uh, works across the board for all of my piano roll. Not really sure how to change that. There may be another way to do this. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert two tracks. I'm going to turn off the input because I think it's picking up my, my microphone. Anyway, um, we're going to call this one 808 MIDI. We're going to call this one Snare MIDI. As you can see, uh, I misspelled that. As you can see, so I'm going to bring this down. So if I'm on the 808 track, oops, where did that go? I'm not used to that. Um, sorry about that. Um, as you can see, I'm still very much uh, a novice here. Um, so on the 808, I want to put it on channel 1. Oh, <laughs> missed a very important step here. So you want to take the, the routing, and we're going to send that to our Ableton master. Now we don't need the audio coming through, but you want all of the MIDI to go to channel 1. So this is our 808 track, because, well, because. Um, 
That way we don't have to mess with this. What I was going to try to show you was how that this kind of carried across all my different tracks. But I've already told you that that's how it works. So now if we come in here, bam, it's perfect. Snare MIDI, we're going to do the same thing. We need to send that to our Ableton master track. We don't need the audio, we're just sending MIDI, but you want to force that through on channel 2. That way, in both spots, you've got it. Now when you play it, you can see the audio is coming back through your mix channel. That's your left and right out from Ableton uh, into this this one. You can you can see here, left and right, one and two. If we open up Ableton, that's, that's your master out. Um, so what do you want to do? What if you want to split those sounds because you want to process them differently. So that's where you can use these separate channels. So you want to assign these, so we're going to say channel, oops, channel 3, channel 4. Um, that gives us four channels coming in. Um, unfortunately, the version of Ableton Live Lite that I have only allows you to have four channels. Um, but from here, from your audio out, you can go to rewire out, and we can change that to three and four. See, if I, if I do that here, and I try to do five and six, tells me that you can only have four channels. So I can either have my second one going through the master, I can disable the master send back, or I can start putting things in mono. Uh, for now, like I said, I've got two samples that I want to pitch. This is more than enough for me. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. If you know what they are, I'm happy to hear it. But for now, we're going to set this back to the master, just just because it makes life easier. Well, actually, let's. Hmm. Can I? I'm not really sure how to disable the master send. So anyway, I will show you how to then receive the audio back on a different track. Um, obviously, if you have more outs from your rewire slave, you can do this as many times as you want. Same with the MIDI going in. You can send as much as you want here. You can see, you know what I mean. You've got channel. All, all kinds of crazy stuff. So anyway, we're going to insert a new track. Take the, the uh, input off because I don't want it recording the mic twice. And we're going to call this 808 Audio. Now from here, instead of sending it to the master send, you want to take your master send and you're going to tell it, because we set 3 and 4 on that on that uh, 808 chat, so you say 3 and 4 goes to 1 and 2. On this one we don't need MIDI, so that should be more than enough. Now if you come into your 808 and you play one, you'll see that audio coming back through another channel here. It comes right back through there. So that's a really easy, kind of simple way of getting MIDI out to Ableton or whatever rewire slave you're using and getting the audio back in. Like I said, I've got kind of a limited version of it, so I can't do as many inputs and outputs as I would like. However, some workarounds, uh, mono channels is one. Um, I haven't gotten that far. I'm not sure I really want to do that, but I thought I would share this with you because it was very confusing at first trying to figure out how to get the whole thing working. You, you start it up, you, you end up with this one window, and, and it, it's very in, unintuitive to start, to try to figure out what you're doing. So here it is. We've set up Rewire. Uh, as you can see now, it's it's really not as intimidating as this window makes it look. Um, easy to do. Play around with it. Uh, let me know what you, what happens, what you do with it. Um, and if you have any advice on things I've done wrong, things I could do better, I'm all ears. So until next time, uh, I hope you like this. Uh, enjoy and have a great time.